Okay, thank you, and sorry for the interruption. Uh, thank you, uh, panel members and all audiences to invite me over here. A lot of talk has been already been uh, going on for about COVID-19, but uh, I'm here to, sorry, I'm here to discuss our experiences during pandemic when we were struggling to establish our liver transplant unit at our Ministry of Health Sciences. So, in the beginning, I would like to uh, start with the brief overview of a transplant. The transplant is a definitive and the life-saving modality in the patients having end-stage liver disease with the one year survival of 80 to 85 percent and the five year survival of 70 to 75 percent worldwide. So there are basically in a briefly two types of a transplant existed. First one is the living donor liver transplant in which a portion of the liver is being removed from the donor, a healthy donor and transplanted, transplanted to the recipient. While in the disease donor there is a removal of the patient native cirrhotic liver and it's been replaced by full liver from a cadaveric donor. In Pakistan, the living donor liver transplant program is existed as there is no provision of disease donor up till now. So the overview of the DHS program where we started our journey, the inception of the liver transplant program occurred in 2014 at Dow University of Health Sciences, then the administration uh, sent <coughs> paramedic staff, surgeons, radiologists to various countries around the world to get the experience for a liver transplant and we did a first successful liver transplant we did in 2016 with the collaboration of the foreign team. Later on, we collaborated with the Indian team as well as the Iranian team to uh, pursue our program, but we soon realized that we had a, we cannot be established, we could not be established because we have a lack of trained human resources, especially surgeons, anesthetists, and an alignment of the ancillary services. Although there are services available in the Dow University of Health Sciences, but they are not well aligned with the transplant requirement and transplant needs. So in, 19, in 2018 to 2019, the team went to various areas like Shifa Hospital, like Qaeda uh, International Hospital, like Russia, and then we restarted our program in 2022 January, when we all rejoined back and then we restarted it out. But unfortunately, at Similarly, at that time, the COVID-19 pandemic started. It badly hit our program, just like uh, all over the world. There was a total chaos all over the area. No one knows what's going to do with that, those patients. So it's drastically affected global healthcare system,